So when you get this human form of body, we get all intelligence, and we should utilize this intelligence how to stop this transmigration of the soul from one body to another. So what is your opinion? If there's a certain criteria of proof or a certain evidence that that we can know for certain that there actually is such transmigration of the soul. Yeah, just like. The baby is the soul is transmigrated from baby's body to child's body, child's body to boy's body, boy's body to youthful body. So the body vanishes, and because the soul remains, he gets another body. Now I am old man. I remember I had a child's body. I was lying down. I, Quite remember it, but that body is not existing. But this is the example. Uh, everyone has experienced. This is transmigration. We so saw from one body to another. And at the time of death, the psychological condition of the mind will carry me to a suitable body, and I shall enter into the womb of. My mother, through the seminar of the father, and the mother will give it a particular type of body, and when it is completely manufactured, then I come out and begin my life. Therefore, we find varieties of forms, but in each and every form there is the soul. Now, in the human form of life, we should utilize our intelligence. That this constant change of body, how it can be stopped, and we should remain in our eternal form. So I am eternal, but psychologically I am simply changing different forms of body. And at the time of change of body, I have to undergo so many sufferings to remain within the womb of the mother for ten months. Impact of condition, it is very terrible punishment. But for each new birth, we have to undertake this terrible suffering. Sometimes nowadays they are being killed. So to avoid all these dangers, one should try to remain in his spiritual body so that there will be no more chance of accepting it. Janma karma me dibham dijana kithatva. She wants to know what disciplines we have, what practices we have. She and also she had a misunderstanding. She said for the beginners. So I was explaining that it's the same for the beginners. And the... the main principle is to understand spiritual subject matter. One must be sealless. Jesam Tantakatam Papam Janana Punna Karmana Sri Danda Mahani Mukta Bhajanti Mahatma Pratya. More we can understand spiritual matter. Therefore, among our students, the four principles are private. He says if it's if to be sinless is not something more profound than simply restricting the body from some things, that there's not a more profound aspect of sinless. The body is just like if you have got high fever, you cannot act your breath. You cannot act your breath. Similarly, this is also like fever, sinful fever. So you cannot act your breath for understanding how it's spiritual man. He's saying, what is sin then? The sin you have explained, these are the four principles of sinful life. This can be avoided just like this European American boy. They were also addicted to this sinful activity. But now they have given up and they are understanding Krishna consciousness very nicely. Material life means sinful life. 
therefore we have to act materially under regulation. Just like a man suffering from some disease, he has to live under the direction of the physician. Otherwise his sufferings will continue. He's saying that, that he understands perfectly well that a human being should look for the, a way to, con, to for self-control and to control the physical force within him. There's also another dimension in a human being which is a social dimension which also has to be taken care of. Therefore the, the Bhagavad Gita, the social dimension is described, chātur pandhan maya sushtam gunakarma vibhāt. There must be four classes of man, division. Just like this body is divided into four uh, departments, the brain, the arm, the belly, and the leg. So the society should be divided into four divisions. The brain division, the arm division, the belly division, and the leg division. Leg division means ordinary worker. And all of them should cooperate for keeping the body fit. If this system is followed, then the whole human society will be working very nicely. At the present moment, there is no brain. Therefore, everything is chaotic. So our Krishna consciousness movement is creating some brain. A man may be very stout and strong, but if he has no good brain, it is useless. Similarly, at the present moment, there is education, there is money and everything, but because there is no brain, the whole thing is in chaotic. The first defect is in education that the present leader, he does not know what is the aim of life. Neither the people know that there is reincarnation or transmigration of the soul after death. So basically they are brainless. So they cannot give guidance and therefore the whole society is in chaotic condition. If our chanting is a form of prayer? Yes. Chanting is a uh, spiritual method for cleansing our heart. Because all dirty things are there in the heart. If the heart becomes clean, then we can understand things as they are. First misunderstanding that everyone is thinking that he is this body. This is due to ignorance. So when one is clean, he can understand that he is not this body. He is separate from the body. He lives within this body. Therefore, when the person leaves this body, it is dead lump of matter. So people are giving more importance to the lump of matter than to the real person within the body. Just like a bird is within the cage, the cage is being washed very nicely and no food to the bird. Therefore the bird is in disturbed condition and is crying. This is giving stress on the cage, not the bird within the cage. Neither do they know that the living being is within this material. Can someone achieve self-realization without a guru or does he need a guru? I do think like that. Is, is there anything within this world which can be learned without guru? Even if you become an ordinary carpenter, you have to learn from an expert carpenter. So how you can imagine to learn the topmost subject matter without guru? This is Vedic injunction is there for tadvikyanatam sa guru meiva avigacche sutriyam brahmanistam samitma, like that. We must have a bona fide guru to train us in the understanding of spiritual matter. Guru means who knows the thing, who can teach you. That is guru. Not a hamma guru. But guru means one who knows, tattva darshana, one who has seen the truth. He can become guru. 
तद्विधि पनिपातेन परिपृष्णेन सेवया उपदक्षन्ति तद्ज्ञानम् ज्ञानिना तत्त्वदश इदं प्रसाद प्रसाद